Good. Right. Oh, it's here. Real quick, you guys, not too long. Right here. Don't, right here now. Okay. It's Lloyd. How's it going? Take a few pictures, buddy. There we go. Oh, nice. Which one will be right here? All right, real quick, fellas. Sure. Quick question for, for the for the gentleman. You as a promoter, who wins the guy in the fight against uh, Klitschko and uh, Fury? Um, I don't really know. You know, my focus is Mayweather promotions. Uh, I try to try to focus on our fighters. I try to focus on taking our fighters to the next level. No. Uh, good luck. Good luck to the best men. What would you uh, tell Klitschko what he has to do to win that fight? Um, once again, my focus is Mayweather Promotions and right my here. fighters. We are the past, the present, and the future of sports and entertainment. Right here. Thank you. Roy, what does a Lifetime Achievement Award mean to Floyd Mayweather? 49 and 0, 26 knockouts? Uh, I, I, you know, I, I can't really say, you know, words can I, you know, can't explain. I mean, you know, when you reach, you know, reach such a level and, you know, you touch so many different people, you're embraced by so many different people, you get love from so many different people. Only thing you can do is be appreciative and very, very thankful. How important is it to get these recognitions, with Floyd? Not because of you know what you've done, but for other people to see it also what you've been able to accomplish. Um, yeah, you know, it's just a dream come true. You know, only thing I did was kept believing, kept dreaming, and um, someday it'll be another fighter standing, you know, in the same place I'm standing in right now. And uh, you have you have to embrace it with open arms and be appreciative. Do you ever just sit back and get you know just look at your life and just be amazed at what you're able to do I mean, and of how course. lucky you are? Oh, well, the main thing I think about my career every time, every day when I wake up, I make smart investments. You know, a lot of times you know you hear fighters saying, "Well, uh, he's the best and he's the best." Well, when history of books is written, you know, I, I want to be known as the best businessman on the outside of the ring. That I also fought in the inside of the ring. That left with all his faculties. Wait, last question. You're the best fighter in history, the best fighter we've ever seen in our era. Can you give me one statement about Muhammad Ali's passing, what he meant to you? Um, Ali, of course, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. A lot of legendary champions that's that's gone, you know, that's in a better place, uh, paved the way for me to be where I'm at. I mean, uh, when you think about so many different legends, all I did every day was think about those different legends and, and try to work hard, you know, to, to get to a high plateau. So How important is it to, to win these three uh, championships uh, with the BWAA? How do you feel with the great company of Ali, uh, Evander Holyfield, <laughs> and the greats? Um, I just want to thank all the writers and everyone that have supported me throughout a 20-year career. I think I'm just blessed and I'm very appreciative. Thank, thank you. you. And then <laughs> Uncle Roger and your dad are part of this too? <laughs> right here, just a real quick picture by yourself. Thank you, Floyd. Thanks, Kelly. You're welcome. Okay.